Hey guys, be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram for extra content you won't see here. Click the links in the description below. Hey, what's up everybody? Eero94 bringing another action figure review. Today we're going to take a look at the Bandai Tamashii Nations SH Figurize. This is Spider-Man Homecoming 2-pack with Spider-Man Homemade Suit and Iron Man Mark 47. This is a web exclusive, thus we're not seeing the actual figures that are hidden behind the box here. And we also get the web exclusive logo on the front of the box here. If you guys are interested in having your very own, it is available at BigBadToyStore.com. There is a link in the description below where you guys can check it out for yourselves. Let's continue on. The side of the box shows Spider-Man and I assume the other side shows Iron Man. There he is. On the back we have Iron Man and Spider-Man both in their poses. So, no more talking. Let's get them out of the box and see how it looks. So we'll start things off with Iron Man Mark 47. Very unique looking armor. Got the silver, got the red, it got the gold. Mostly silver, which is something we're not used to seeing in Iron Man, that's for sure. But this is a little nod to the ultimate Iron Man suit, which looks similar in color scheme. You know, sculpt-wise, no, it's not how it looks. But color scheme-wise, yes, this is how it looks. Got the red on top and the silver in the middle section of the body. So pretty cool that they did this. I, I love, I love, love, love how we get in um on new armors every movie it's just a just it's tony stark it's that's what he does and as always bandit to machine nations always pulls it off nicely and they did a great job with this figure iron man is just like their their baby it's it's their masterpiece figure they always always uh pull it off perfectly the way i like it um they make great iron man's it's, it's just a proven fact by now this two-pack comes with a lot of hands and accessories so i like that here we have normal open hands for uh, Iron Man here in what I've noticed is that these all have their own uh, Hand guard a lot of the other Iron Man's you have to remove the hand guard use it use the same one for all the other hands and um, This one you do not they've done this before and they then they and then they've gone back to the old way I don't I don't know what it is I don't know what determines which figures get their own hand guards and which one you have to reuse the same one over and over I really wish they would keep it at this though. I like this where you don't have to keep reusing that same hand guard and then risk losing that little piece uh but anyways that's something i noticed and everything's nicely painted look at that i mean bandai always does such a good job so open hands there and then we do have open hands but with a peg of course this is for the blasting effects so i got the open hand with the peg and then we have the open hands but in flight mode so everything's straight straight fingers and all that and then we got the fist on the actual figure itself we get the same um effects that we're used to so we get the uh the repulsor blast coming out the feet, the long repulsor blast coming out the hands, and then the shorter versions right here coming out the hands too. So there is that. So here we have Iron Man up close. We can see the beautiful paint. Got the metallic uh, gold, the metallic looking red. Very good. Got the arc reactor right there, and then the silver looks good too. Feet. The feet are die cast as always. This is what they always do. They put the die cast feet. But just look at the paint, how clean it is. I love it. Love it. Love how clean they paint their figures very nice so there's that let's take a look at his articulation so we do have the head going left and right it goes up very nicely goes down arms go forward and back they go in and out we do have that shoulder guard here that hinges we have a bicep swivel we have a double jointed elbow swivel at the wrist with a hinge it's, it's a bar joint right there we have a diaphragm joint that swivels goes forward and back we do have a waist swivel swivels goes forward and back as well so good motion at the abdominal area slash torso legs go forward and back they go in and out they do drop down as they figure out to allow more movement forward and back and in and out we do have a thigh swivel double jointed knees here the ankles do go forward and back they pivot and there is a toe hinge now, my, my only gripe about this figure is that they could have added and they should have added an open face plated helmet face uh, where he goes into sentry mode in the movie when he was talking to uh, to Peter Parker and he wasn't really there and it was just a suit. So he lifts the helmet open. Hasbro actually did it for Marvel Legends. I really think that's a missed opportunity for them because this is the only way to get this figure is from this two pack. They didn't singly release it. Um, at all so they did single release the spider-man but they didn't single release the iron man so now spider-man looks great got the nice bright vibrant colors here they really pulled off the look 
everything looks so good i like what they did here with this figure we have the hoodie so you can have them with the hoodie we also have a downed hoodie down here so when you put the hoodie on you take this piece out and then we do have a little uh red piece here to put a stand i believe it's, a, it's for a flight stand which they do not come with which is insane to me and you peg it onto the back right here and you can put a flight stand on his back and so since we do have quite a few hands here i figured i'd just lay them down for you here so we do have the spider-man web slinging hands right here uh, and the other side shows the red side of the costume we have the open hands over here we have well two open hands we kind of have the fingers at a different position with these open hands here so you can see this open hand and then this is more spread out uh, of an open hand and then down here we have um where he can hold the web and then we have these kind of like cell phone posing hands here and then of course he does come with the web similar exactly the same as the um the web that came with the civil war fake white spider-man so there is a medium sized one this is the small one right here take that out there's a small one and then we have the really really long one right here all right so there he is with the hoodie uh, it's pretty easy to put on and take off uh, but anyways the articulation consists of a head sculpt that goes left and right it's on a bunch of hinge, so it does go up and down the neck does articulate as well like crazy arms go forward and back this one's a little bit loose now that i move it uh, in and out bicep swivel uh, the shoulder also kind of moves around in there in a socket we do have double jointed elbows swivel at the wrist with a hinge we have a nice detailed web shooter there as well Diaphragm, the swivel goes forward and back. And then we do have a separate piece for the, it's not a belt, but it's the bottom of his jacket. But they made it a separate piece. So it's going to look awkward up here, but it's supposed to go down here. Waist swivel slightly forward and back a lot more. Legs go forward and back, in and out. Very nice range of motion. That's Spider-Man for sure. So I like that. We do have a thigh swivel, double joints and knees. The ankles do hinge forward and back. They pivot and there is a toe hinge. And those of you that collect both Marvel Legends and SH Figuarts, you know by now that Tazro does produce bigger figures than SH Figuarts by maybe an inch. Here we have uh, the Hasbro Marvel Legend version of this homemade suit, and he does stand taller than him. We got him pretty much in the same pose. Uh, stands taller than the SH Figuarts one for sure. But it's not nearly as detailed, not nearly as articulated as the SH Figuarts version. So that's the only thing it has over this one is the the height uh, overall all the figures are a bigger scale so everything's bigger uh, so i love the vibrant red blue bright colors on doris version i like that and i like the web shooters as well better way better on the figures version the eyes do look better too the little goggle eyes and overall of course the articulation now don't get me wrong this figure was one of my favorite ones too it's a great figure by hasbro they did a good job there but if i had to choose one of course i'm going to go towards the SH Figures version for sure. And there we have Spidey next to the regular suited Spidey, which is the regular suit that Tony Stark gave him. Uh, next to, of course, the Homecoming. Next to, of course, the homemade version here. So, pretty cool. And let's get a group shot comparison here. Alright, guys, that concludes my review on the Bandai Tamashi Nations SH Figures Spider Man Homecoming 2 pack web exclusive to Spider Man homemade suit and the Mark 47 Iron Man armor. Very cool. Unfortunate that it costs so much and it's an exclusive to this two pack only. Now you can get Spider Man alone if you don't care for this Iron Man, then that's good. Uh, but if you want Iron Man, you gotta get this two pack. So there is that. Other than that, these are awesome figures. Highly recommend. These are great and solid, solid figures. Great for your collection. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Leave a like if you did. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. See you on the next one. And don't forget, have a great day. Bye.